My name is Jane Francis and I am Director of the British Antarctic Survey. And I'm also a geologist by training and I've been to Antarctica in the past to collect rocks and fossils to try and understand what Antarctica was like millions of years ago. And by doing that, that as a geologist means living in really remote places in a tent camp. And when you do that, you really get to see what the real Antarctic environment is like. And so I can really appreciate that actually, although the Antarctica we all know is a really awesome landscape with stunningly beautiful glaciers and mountains, actually at very small scale, it's very fragile and easily disturbed. And I've seen tiny lichens and mosses that are clinging to life in Antarctica. So it's really crucial that we protect that fragile environment. And the environmental protocol is crucial in providing us with guidelines on how to leave this amazing place as undisturbed as possible. Antarctica is really unique in this world because it truly is a continent for peace. No weapons of war, no military actions and no mining. It's just a continent for peace and for science, really important science that helps us understand what happens in Antarctica and how it affects the whole earth. So when the Antarctic ice sheets melt, they raise global sea levels. Um, cold water from melting ice drives ocean circulation around the world. The atmosphere in Antarctica affects and interacts the rest of the atmosphere in the world. And also, we know now that things happen at the poles before we see them happening elsewhere on Earth. So really, Antarctica is a lookout for changing conditions across the whole Earth. For example, we've seen the impact of the ozone hole in Antarctica first. We've seen climate change happening first and certainly most dramatically in the polar regions. We must protect Antarctica and the environmental protocol is what is helping us do that.